The Young and the Restless Spoilers Thursday is November 17th reveals that Phyllis will confront Diane and wonder, are you being overconfident, thinking you can't figure out the secret you're hiding? However, facing that, Diane is still extremely different, but that will not last when it comes to Stark. Nikki hastily asked, Things get more interesting when someone contacts him, and of course, he'll be here soon. Diane sarcastically about what they're doing, and it sucks to snoop on people's lives all day, but I won't be defeated so easily. Diane's tired of continuing to face criticism, but what she gets in the end is forgiveness. Mercy from Kyle, she assures them that it will be over soon, so don't try to waste time on this. Diane will take the initiative to find Tucker and Grand Phoenix and she has something to discuss. She felt angry and it sucks when you tell the whole thing about Stark to Ashley. It makes everything go wrong. He insists he will do what's best for Ashley, but Diane certainly won't let anyone hurt her. Lily still doesn't know what's going on between Amanda and Devin, so she wonders why Amanda wants to quit. She'll contact Devin and hopefully find answers to everything. He was amazed to hear this, and what's going on, things are really bad. Devin will visit Lily's office to check on the situation, however she wants to know the current situation, and Devin seems invasive. Because in the end, all mistakes were made by him. Diane also soon implements her plan, and she doesn't want things to become more and more unfavorable by her. Lily will have new findings in the future, and Abby hopes Chance will let it all go, but maybe he's made his own decision. Diane's going to visit the Abbott family's farm, but there he has an unhappy encounter with Ashley, and even Nikki, and Phyllis. And she quips everything that's going on. Maybe you're too cowardly to express someone like that. They will bring Jeremy to protest, even threatening to end all of Diane's life soon. She said, can you trust a man as bad as Tucker? It's really too gullible. She laughed at them and immediately left. Abby met with Chance to clarify what had happened between her and Devin. However, he was adamant he wanted her relationship to end here. I know it's beyond your imagination, but it's truth. Let's learn to accept it. However, Abby continues to save things she loves, and he doesn't want their small family to end like this. He believes that this is the best choice, and in the end, in the long run, we're the only ones who suffer in the end. Chance will catch the Devin at work, so he'll head over here. Because, after all the need to have a serious conversation with each other, Devin feels guilty about how things got around with Abby. It was their mistake. And Chance said, even if you two regret it, it's all done and nothing can make up for it. And now that our story's over, you and Abby can come together. Whether things will happen in the future, keep an eye on it. Devin hopes Chance can forgive himself and take good care of Dominic. Chance didn't want to bring up the issue. Devin added that it was just a mistake, and I hope you don't break up with Abby because of it. Because you know how much she loves you, but this made Chance angry. Don't try to interfere in this because this is not what you should do. Of course, I won't make any wrong decisions for anyone.